Before we get started, if you have your platform open, then close it by signing out. Now, we're ready. To properly install Tastyworks version 1, we'll need to uninstall Tastyworks first. To uninstall, we'll need to go to the control panel. To reach the control panel, click the start menu, then type control panel into the search field. Then, select it. Your control panel will appear. Next, click uninstall a program. Then, locate Tastyworks by scrolling down your list of installed programs. To uninstall, double-click Tastyworks. A prompt will appear asking if you would like to uninstall Tastyworks. Please click Yes, and the uninstallation will start. Once complete, we're ready to update to Tastyworks version 1. Start by opening a web browser, such as Google Chrome, and head to our homepage, tastyworks.com. Once there, click Technology to go to our Technology page. Next, scroll down to our desktop section, then click Download Now. Another window will appear. Click Download Installer and version 1 will start to download. Just so you know, the Tastyworks installation file will be a .msi file or a Windows installer package file instead of a .exe file. Next, locate the file. Generally, downloaded files will save in your Downloads folder or your browser may display a shortcut for you in the bottom left-hand corner of the window. We'll use the shortcut to open the installer. After opening the file, the installer will launch. Click Next to proceed. Our user agreement will appear. Click Agree. Then Next. Tastyworks version 1 will install into the Program Files folder. Again, to proceed, click Next. Finally, to start installation, click Install. The installer will prepare the file. Again, you may receive another prompt asking if it's okay to allow this app to make changes to your device. To continue, please click Yes. The installer will complete the installation, and a prompt will appear letting you know when it's complete. When the installation completes, click Finish. And that's it. You may now launch the platform. You'll know if you're on version 1 by looking at the window heading. If it displays V1, then the platform installed successfully. You may now sign back into the platform.